that blow up, you know what I'm saying? Fuck with that blow up, What's the word? We in the middle of West Orlando. You on Texas Ave with the hood poet. Cliche that is. West Orlando's finest. I'm with Kodak Blow Up. You know what the fuck going on? Word up, word up. So shit, right now, we basically in the, in the neighborhood where I found my identity at. This Texas Ave basically taught me how to be thorough. How to be motherfucking real, how to be a stand up person. Shit, I got a lot of bad shit out here too, though. Like, real shit. Well, I caught my first charges at hitting houses and shit. Like, all kind of shit. Like, when you go, like, when you go down this road and shit, that's like actual Texas out. Cause this basically Americana. You feel me? But we consider, we consider all this shit the out. Like, we don't call this Americana and shit. Like, this all the out. Right out there, party liquor. This niggas that's from over here and died up there, all type of shit. My uh, apartments was like behind this plaza. This like the neighbor, this like the neighborhood plaza. Everybody come to this. Got the Chinese spot right there, laundromat right there, the liquor store right there. Let you buy shit. You don't need no ID. We used to be jits in that bitch, thugging. But shit, over here kind of taught me everything I know. Gave me my identity. Made me cliche. You feel me? Kind of, kind of gave me a. Uh, stepping stone of who I want to be and where I want to go, you feel me? I learned the good and the bad over here. Seen a lot of ugly shit over here. Did a lot of ugly shit over here, so. so I like, love over here. So, like, the range of, like, Texas Ave in this area, is it, like, big? Is it small type stuff? Like, is it, why, how's the neighborhood size? You would say it's big because, like, it wrapped basically, like, all the way down this road. Like, my first neighborhood I stayed in down this over here was, like, Dunn Woody, and that's, like, at the beginning. Like, I grew up, I lived over there, bitch, all like seventh grade, sixth grade. So, we started in like Dunn Woody, ended up down here at Alhambra Court. But, like, shit, you say I done lived in down there, every complex on the aisle, basically, shit. But, this where I grew up at. I was raised across town, you feel me? Like, Benton Street, Livingston, Federal. That's where I grew up, like a young girl. But, where I learned who I am, all right, right here, over here, Texas, you feel me? I ain't never getting no shit across town, you feel me? Like, that was my family at. Yeah, shit. You know, though. Probably the Haitian food. No food, yo. Yeah. Probably the Haitian food. When I was when I was going out, when I was living out this bitch, Haitian spot used to be right there. Oh. Nah, that be at the end, but that be not here. You gotta go to Bon Appetit. That be like, okay. that be like around the corner. But shit, as far as like, getting in the shit, What's the crazy shit you see now? Uh, different say like Food Lotto. A lot of niggas know like Texas Ave Food Lotto. That was that was a police activity go down there. Yeah. Like a lot of niggas stay around there. We get, can't go. Oh yeah, you get know. caught up. You get you get your ass boomed over there. <laughs> <laughs> so you stay away from over there. Like a lot of niggas know like uh, rest in peace to Gator. Like a couple years ago when I was in high school, Gator died right on the corner. You feel me? And shit, police just left him out there, bro. They like so. You like people think I don't know what people think like about the Al, but this shit really like that. Like left a nigga slump in front of Point Vista, like all type of shit. It be all type of wild shit going on. But me, I'm not with that neighborhood shit and neighborhood beef shit and all that. Cause I done lived in fucking Silver Star. I done. Yeah. Live in cross town. So I done live here. You yeah. feel me? I don't really have like a place where I can't really go. You feel me? I don't have beef and shit like that. I'm like, I'm really like West Orlando to the core. I'm West Orlando all the way around. Like, that bad. I want to go wherever I want. Yeah, you feel me? I don't want that type of situation. But as far as what's going on in the city, it, it really get like that. And shit, it, it get, it get, it get there. I, I stay out that though. I stay, I stay doing what I'm doing right now. Doing these vlogs and making this music and shit stand my lane. Yeah. But a lot of my dogs caught plenty of years standing at standing up there at that that store at the food lotto. That shit out here be just wrong place, wrong time type of area. It's not even like some shit like that. You know what I mean? But come on, mommy. And all the zones be rude as fuck. By the way, you is basically in like the you like in a little Haiti right now when you get over this bitch like. We in we in motherfucking islands in motherfucking Texas out. It's it's some yanks over there, bit, but over here like you gonna get the Zos, you gonna get the Chicos, you gonna get the yanks. But really like you gonna get a lot of Zos over there, bit. But we yeah. fuck with the Zos over here like 
We have been fucking with the Zoles since people didn't fuck with the Zoles over there, bitch. Oh, yeah, I remember. I love the owl, you feel me? A lot of people know about the owl, you feel me? We did. That's what it is, what it is. So you saying that, you know, you got your name from like out here. How did that start for you? How did that name come about, well, living out here? Shit, like, I used to look like, even though I used to stay up here, I used to walk down the road to run a run and shit. That's like, down towards the mall. I used to record with my dog. Like, we was recording closets and shit, so. I ain't really used to like have a rap name, stage name. Cause I used to be like, you know, that shit kind of like, you know, I used to be like, my name's just Bam, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's just, that's my neighborhood name. But shit, eventually I kept rapping shit. I just started to figure like, shit, I ain't cliche. Like, I started with like, I'm a different, I'm a different female artist. I go harder, I ain't really coming like these hoes. So I like, shit, I ain't cliche and shit. I'm gonna start calling myself that or whatever. Like, just get attention. So, kind of being over here, like, you would look at me, I look like the typical female, typical gay female, you feel me? I look cliche as fuck, but you get to know me and shit, you be like, oh damn, ain't nothing about her like typical, you feel me? Ain't nothing about her original. Everything, yeah. everything different, so that why, that why, that what I plan on bringing to the, to the music, you feel me? So I plan on doing it like that. Right up. You know, people are watching this right now, you know, a lot of people come to Orlando and they think like Orlando is all tourist area, you know what I'm saying? But in your perspective, you know, what, what is Orlando? Except for people that are watching this, not from out here. What, what is your uh, inside to me, perspective to, to it? To me, Orlando thorough. Uh, Orlando teach you how to how to have a backbone. To me, Orlando ain't tourist. It's it's really you get you get what your ass put out. Like you fuck around, fuck the wrong person on the wrong day. Like you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be no Mickey Mouse type of shit. Like you feel me? I think I think Orlando is what you see out here. This shit dirty. This shit. <laughs> this, this is this is the real Orlando. This is the other side of Orlando people probably don't get to see. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It's the west side. It's not the east side. You feel me? I don't I know nothing about the east side. I don't know nothing about the east side, so I can't really vouch for the east side. But yeah. I know I know the east side just like us. Like every side getting money, so I just love my city as a whole. Like I hope my whole city win. Truly. Right up, right up. Okay. When had the uh, rap started for you? You say when? Yeah. I was like 12 years old. I used to, uh, I used to freestyle and shit on this uh, game called Get On The Mic. That shit was by Jada Kids on PlayStation 2. I used to get on that shit and whoop my cousin's ass freestyling and shit. And like, I used to write a lot before that. And I just started like write, rapping the beats and shit. The more I started doing that, start recording in my room, recording in my dog closet. I got on my little mixed craft shit, started dropping shit on uh, MySpace. Started going crazy. But I ain't never really take that shit serious. I ain't had no bread and my mama didn't take that shit serious. So that shit go hand in hand. My mama, my mama not from the United States, you feel me? So trying to rap and be an artist, that shit kind of like, you know, sound like crazy. Yeah, that shit sound crazy to her. So she ain't never really take that rap shit serious and allow me to like pursue this shit. So I just started doing this after I graduated college, you feel me? Like I just started taking it serious and spending my bread, dropping my shit. Cause I seen niggas making it that I wear way better than so I'm like, fuck <laughs> let me get out of this bitch. For sure, for sure. I, I know we was talking about how like big Texas Ave is. Um, is Texas Ave like majority like apartments or is it like house uh, complexes? Oh yeah, this all apartments. Like, well, when we like, if you hear anybody say they're from Texas Ave, they most likely live in an apartment. But don't get me wrong, like we got one subdivision right here that big called South Point. Like it's a couple people that probably live back there in South Point too, but. For the most part, all I had live in apartments, like Point Vista, like one of the worst ones. That be right here across the street. That be like one of the worst ones. You don't really even want to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Those apartments right there? Yeah, back there, back there. That's called Point Vista. That's the only apartment around this bitch that's never changed this name. Like, that bitch been Point Vista since <laughs> I came over this bitch. Like, all the rest of these shit been changed names, all type of shit, but like, Growing up, like, when I said, like, we used to hit houses and shit, like, it's apartments back there called Park Central and shit, like, they the bougie, like, the luxury apartments, take advantage of their ass, like, right there. Mm -hmm. shit. That's basically, that's basically what we used to do for fun, like, on the aisle, like, that what you do for fun, like, hit houses and shit, sell weed and shit, like, you know what I'm saying, you just be chilling. For people that don't know what hit houses is, what, what is that? Man. What is that? Just visiting people when they not home and shit. Okay, like then. Oh, you, you knocking on their door and shit, but they don't really be trying to open the door for you and shit. You you kicking in the doors, man. Fear, man. That's how you just. That's how we grew up. Like going cash for gold, 
Shit, selling the TV to so little A Rap man, uh, across the street in the little right. plaza. Like, them type of shit. Nah, like, we, do music, we grew though. up yeah, hustling, was, like, over here. Like, shit, I've been hustling since like sixth grade, going to Memorial, selling fucking nine ladies for 25 cents. Shit. Niggas that went to Memorial and me can vouch. Like, we used to be selling nine ladies, all type of shit. Like, we were some hustlers. We, people that had, we were some hustling ass motherfuckers. Like, shit, yeah. and then it alternated to at more advanced shit. So, you know, you know, the more you got to hustle, the more. The more expensive shit you get, you gotta yeah. gotta put a little bit more force on shit. But other than that, shit, we just been we just be chilling on the aisle. Everybody on the aisle fuck with each other. You feel me? Like everybody on the aisle got love for each other for the most part. You feel me? For the most part. Okay, that's, that's what it is. What it is. Um, and with that being said, you know, um, living out living out here, you know, what I'm saying, is it? Would you recommend? You know, what I'm saying for people to like. If a, if somebody just wanted to come by like through out here, is it is it uh, recommended to like somebody to come by? Is it, like that dangerous? No, they they just come. Like you see, like it ain't really nothing going on out here. They can come, but like as far as like posting up, like they can't just go to like full auto and like just post up and not like no one like ask a question. You know what I'm saying? Not even as far as like pressing them or anything. It's just it's just far as like. Like, who hustle. are you? You, can't hustle you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you people. can't just be standing at full auto trying to hustle shit. There's people already making money up here. You can't really just come do that over here. Just shit yeah. like that. Other than that, you can come get your gas and leave type shit. You know, <laughs> yeah, you, don't, right. you don't really come hang out and shit. Yeah. There ain't nothing to do anyway. Especially if you don't, especially if you don't belong here. You feel me? If you don't belong here and ain't shit to do here. You feel me? Okay, word up, word up. Is there any artists other than you that's coming out of Texas Ave that probably already made it out or, you know, it's buzzing? Oh, yeah. Uh, motherfucking Kit One. Kit One, he bought the blow. Uh, shit, he from right here on Texas Ave, too. And motherfucking, before Kit One, uh, Lava had this big going and uh, Gigi got this big going. So, I'm just trying to get on shit with them boys and make, a, make some noise for Texas Ave and make this shit go crazy. And my dog, Jay Black, too, like, he, you know, yeah, he do that shit too. So, if everybody come together, we, we, we become a force. I feel like, yeah, the album gonna go crazy. But as far as like 2022, definitely like me and Kit One, for sure, y'all y'all should hear like a lot of noise. What up, what up? How did you learn how to start writing your own music? Uh, I started writing poetry first. So, like, I grew up like in an abusive ass home. As far as me being abused, my mom being abused, all type of shit. So like drugs, all type of shit, type of shit influence you to just not want to talk to nobody and want to write about shit like a little diary type shit. But you don't really talk to a diary. I used to think a diary was weird, like writing a date and kind of talking about your date in third person. I thought that shit was weird. So I wrote poems and shit. So after that, like the poems just turned into the music. I told y'all like the freestyle. I used to freestyle way before I even wrote poems. So I can't, that just went hand in hand. Okay. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure, for sure. So your first, your first thing that you ever What's put up? it. You tell me. Shit, we just trying to make a little video. And I'm trying to make a video. We just want to talk to the people. I don't know what it is. Go ahead. Say. Tell them where we at. I know. I'm from Sanford. Nah, I'm man. Sanford. Tell them where you at right now. Like, what's the name of this area? Like, I don't know. I think it's Americana. I don't give oh, a fuck. Shit. She tripping, man. We on Texas Ave. Texas Ave? Okay, coming back. Damn, we fine as hell. Well, damn, Auntie, you need to go back to Sanford. Why I gotta go back to Sanford? You a long ways from home. She a long ways from home, y'all, boy. Yeah, See, mom, this type home. of shit that be going on on the Why? Ave. But I'm, I'm about me? that life, though. No. Son, I got your back. And she got my back, you feel me? That's Auntie what's up. Mike got a strap under her titties or some shit. Wait. Hey, but look. You as fine as hell. See, see, this type of shit. You a good on. boy. I'm a woman. What the hell? Just like you. I thought you was a boy. No. You look good. Look, Mike pull out the trap. Shit. See, look, Hold though. Hold on now. All right. See, you look, 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 though. Look, look. Come on. Let's try. What the hell? Yo, what up? We're gang gang. What you got going on? What tattoo you got going on? What's We're gang gang. Oh, come yeah? Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, Corona virus. No. Corona. I never. I, I, you can't be holding my hands and shit. I don't even know what you just yeah, came Yeah, she from. cuffed up. Hey. Yeah, I'm cuffed up. No. Why y'all? What's up? What's up with them? 
Races, you already know what I'm trying I'm to fix my teeth. I'm talking about the train tracks on your teeth. Races, you already know. We trying to adjust our yeah, shit. Yeah, we trying to look, look like some shit. Up. Yo. What the hell, Bobby? You gonna get tried. You, you in the hood, you gonna get tried. You just gotta let it fly. This shit's like you are five years old, right? Shit. <laughs> all right, let's all take a picture smiling. Let's see. Go ahead. Gang, gang. Go ahead, smile. You gotta smile, though. Got I smile. can't smile, my husband. Oh. And you know oh, me. Don't even tell us the story. Yeah, don't yeah. even tell us. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. You get that type abused, of trauma. Abused, yeah. That type of trauma made me write poems and shit. Yeah. 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 I, I, I'm, I'm in a bad too. relationship. Oh, yo. So you gotta get out of. Don't start crying. Cause we gotta get off the camera and shit, Word. man. Cause see, then it's gonna turn into the Maury show. We are gonna be out this bitch on Doctor <laughs> Field on TA. Right hey, but right. see, look. Man, she crying. She All talking about right, like, gang gang. Yo, hey, look. But see what I'm saying? That type of trauma right there <laughs> make you write poems and shit. That shit turn into an artist like me. That's like an everyday thing though out here. Oh man, that shit normal. The buddies like this bitch. They like our homies like this bitch. We don't really try to like disrespect them until they get too like stupid, touchy and like, shit. Like, stupid. but out here, in the, oh, I think everybody fuck with the uh, with the bombs and like not even the bombs. Like you know the druggies and shit because we got one out there bitch called Cal Crazy Calvin. Yeah. Everybody in the oh know that nigga. Yeah. You don't really disrespect them. Like you just show them love, bro. Them people broken. Them people don't even know what the fuck tomorrow gonna you bring. For they yeah, but shit. Other than that, that shit way. normal she and it's ass. cool. She, she might come back. Right now, honey. That shit normal and it's cool. That shit. That shit turn us into stars. You feel me? No, Struggle sure. turn us into stars, bro. Okay, mama. I'm sorry. I ain't show you. I ain't shit out there. Oh fucking, shit, now he done stalked another one. Look at one. He done stalked another one. You look like, nah, she don't look like the brat. I'm the brat. Right, you up. look like, oh my god. I'm gonna, gonna tell you right now. Jacquees. Who are these? Jacquees. Oh, Jacquees. Okay. Jacquees, hold it. That's the rubber? That's, that's Jacquees right there. No, it's Lil Wayne, man. Okay. <laughs> Weezy. Well, spit some fire. I'm Goldilocks. Okay, Get then. Go to locks. Yes, you gonna go viral. Don't bring the ox over here. Go to lots. They gonna get a couple shots. Go to lots. No, not, not box, me. Go to lots. Yo, they stole all my shit. I'm a boost. Oh, go get me some shit then. I need some uh, 532 with some small shirts, man. Okay, you're not listening. They know. stole my all right, shit. Look, she, she look. Yeah. All right, you're gonna my... be all tarnished. Yeah. Y'all hey, know me. Cut, cut the no. fucking camera, man. <laughs> no, y'all know me. Go like, remember I told you they stole. Go like, we gotta work. Uh, that's Burberry. Keep it moving. I love Burberry. you. I love you. Hell, you got Burberry. Hell, 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 hell. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna let you yeah, go. Yeah, you got Burberry. I'm gonna pay you go. He said I'm gonna yeah. pay. Keep Thank it moving. You. Go ahead. All right. Do that, for me. Do that for me. I'm gonna take my money back. All right. I'll give you five seconds. I'm gonna take my money All right. back. Oh God, yo. Keep it pushing. She's fine too. She know it. All right. She got a dime in the car. Yeah. Keep it pushing. We love you. Right. Keep it pushing. Yeah. We love you. It never happened. Thank you. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. We love them so I'm much. Back, Ain't gonna lie, man. That's part of the main. Like on a serious note, though, that's part of the main reason I'm really trying to like take off with this music shit and really become something. Cause like my brand, like my bigger picture, my bigger purpose, the struggle proof, is really to like show the resilient people, the people that really overcome shit and can't overcome shit. That there's people out here that do it. And we kind of like the voice for them. We trying to really set a way for them to kind of come out of shit like that. So like, one of my biggest plans is to like create like a tiny community for people like that to kind of yeah. get them out of their struggling situations and shit. Trying to show them that like they could be struggle proof and shit. Therapy. So that really what I move off cause shit. That type of shit right there yeah. make the world better. Them type of people right there. Too many of those. They be gonna look like zombie apocalypse. Auntie said she fucking got her ass beat. Look like she fucking beating somebody ass. Yo. Beating the pipe. Hey, yo. Model, I just helped her do that. She about to go no. work that pipe because of me today. I got experience with a drug background, so I don't judge people and shit like that. Hell yeah, yeah. I, shit, I just drink lean, so hey. You feel me? I had a drug addiction. I just know how to control it. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I'm serious, no, no. I, I got experience with drug addiction. You said you got a drug addiction? No, I got I got a little background with somebody that had a drug addiction. You feel me? It kind of affect my life okay. in a negative way. You feel me? Cause they were wilding out on you all the time. But yeah, you feel like me? Be you, right? Beating my ass yeah. and shit. You feel me? So, what? No. Yeah, you feel me? So I had to become a better person. So that's what that's what y'all see right now today. That's better for sure. Person, like, that's like that's like a daily out here, ain't it? Yeah, for sure. Type stuff, right? People grow up going through stuff like that all the time, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Like. I don't even think they plan to become that way, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes your circumstances already be set up for you. And all of this shit already written, so yep. what can you really do too, you know? You're improvising, you know. 
Yeah, yeah you gotta just kind of make a way. So Yo. that's all. That's all you can do. You gotta, you gotta, you just gotta. All them damn PCI up. security shits and motherfucking have your ass scoop. How you thinking them the motherfucking twelve and shit? What are those? PCI security. security. I thought that was a motherfucking 911 so OPD. They got, they got, thought they was finna come over this bitch and say, what the fuck y'all doing? They, they be got, so fucking They got old. real guns too? I don't think they got guns. They might got whistles. Oh no, like Craig and, and you know who. Like Craig and Dodo. They, <laughs> can't be no Dodo out this bitch. Bro, I can't live fucking. here, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. I don't, I don't know how you well, do it. My mama do still live out there, bitch. So okay, then. That's the goal is to get out I'm here. still tied to it. So that's okay. really the main motivation every day, for real. Having to still come here. Knowing I don't move from here, but my mama still come here every day. So. Deep in the rap. Yeah, I'm trying to get her out of here. So what you got planned for the music this year? I'm about to drop, drop it. it. I'm about to drop my debut, my debut mixtape. I was about to drop it at the end of this year, but I decided to kind of like take it easy because I want to really present my shit in a way where like, they know like I'm I'm trying to present my shit. They know how I'm really coming. So I'm gonna hold that bitch back. I'm gonna just drop the uh these two singles that I got in the vault. And I'm just shit. You gonna let them me? let them have that until to January. I got some features on the way in January. Well, who? Yeah, I just say one right? of them is Hurricane Wisdom. Okay. Alright, boy, so, we're gonna keep it like that. Uh, like that. Right so shit. Right, Other than too. that. Just know, I want to fuck with Florida to the end, so I'm trying to wreck up all the Florida people. I'm in get. Miami. Tap in. Say that. So wow. I'm trying to make sure I get my get my get my name out there like that through fucking with the people that come from the same environments as me. Yeah. Right up, right up. Yeah, and let the, let the people know too, all your social media, you know what I'm saying, so they can get it. I'm gonna leave it a description on the bottom of the video, but you know, oh, yeah, sure. people are watching right now, they can find all your oh, social yeah, for media. Sure. I'm, I'm cliche on everything. If you can't find me as cliche, you can find me as the hood poet. On Instagram, it's one underscore cliche. On Twitter, it's that's real cliche. I tweet sometimes. I might follow you back on Instagram if you show me another love and shit. On SoundCloud and Apple Music and all that, it's cliche. And just make sure you don't forget the fucking asterisk on the E. And then my yep. name ain't Klitsch. It's cliche, dumbass. Word up, word up. Appreciate you, man. You know what I'm saying? Letting us yeah, know yeah. what it is out here, man. This is Texas Ave. Hell yeah, West Orlando shit. Big four shit. Y'all on the fold. Yeah. For sure, for sure.